And welcome to our ISA Celebrity Google Hangout, where we meet and talk with notable people about anti-aging, weight loss, energy and performance, and wealth creation. And I'm Stacey Bugin, one of your co-hosts, along with Michael Dodder, former Super Bowl champion NFL player. And we are talking today with a very special guest. A little bit about my background, I went to UC Berkeley and I had for 16 years worked in, uh, worked for myself, but I was working in production and I was a project manager for Fortune 500 companies. And a lot of these companies were companies that didn't really align with my values. They were tobacco companies, uh, chemical, pharmaceutical, f fast food, alcohol, and although the projects were fun, it really um, I really had hoped to become aligned with a, a company that was more uh, that was more in line with my values. So when I found Isogenics, when I was introduced to Isogenics, I really just wanted it for the product. But then I realized there was this business opportunity that I I couldn't ignore. And and what I found after looking into it, not only is it a pro is it a company with amazing products, but this company has really solid leadership, and the the compensation plan, the, the financial opportunity here is, is incredible and I could not avoid that. So I ended up putting my other career on the back burner and I'm really focusing just on isogenics because I see there's a lot of potential here. So what we're doing here today is we're hanging out with notable people whose lives have been impacted by isogenics and Michael is my co-host here and he's going to tell you a little bit about his background. Hi, Michael. Hi, Stacy. Thank you, Stacy. Uh, my name is Michael Dodderer, and I went to the rival school of Stacy's. I, I attended Stanford University, and I'm a graduate of Stanford. And unfortunately, my last game in college football was when our band came on the field. So Stacy can laugh to the end of the, our uh, time about that game. But any event, short background on me. Um, I was a a two-sport athlete in college. I was an All-American baseball player and uh, played American football, was drafted my senior year by the New York Yankees and the, and the uh, Los Angeles Raiders, decided to play football. And my rookie year, I, I hit the lottery because um, the team I was on my rookie year, we won the Super Bowl. So uh, I feel that way with, with isogenics. Um, I was introduced to Isogenics about 11 years ago, and I've been tracking the company uh, for the last 11 years, and it's, it's been amazing. I mean, Isogenics in the last 11 years ha has um, a cumulative $2 billion in sales. So I feel like I've hit the lottery, just like when I won the Super Bowl. Working with Isogenics, I feel I've, I've really hit a home run, uh, won the Super Bowl. And the great thing about Isogenics is you get to meet great people. And today I want to introduce you to a, an amazing person. Someone, he's, he's actually, uh, he's one of my heroes now because I, I've learned about his story. And he's someone that also was a tremendous American football player. And we're hanging out uh, with, uh, with, I'm going to call him my friend because, you know, we haven't known each other that long. But I feel like I, uh, I know we're kindred spirits. His name is Tony Mandrich, and let me tell you a little bit about Tony. He has an amazing background. Tony was, like myself, we were both born in Canada, so he started playing ice hockey like I did, but he grew so big and so fast that his mother was uh, spending too much on skates because he kept growing out of his skates, so he turned to American football, and he became one of the greatest college football players ever, and uh, he was a, uh, drafted after his amazing career at Michigan State, and I remember, I, I think he was he was known for the pancake block. I mean, he would Tony was so big he would take a, a player and hit them, and they would go down like a pancake. And um, he was so successful that he was drafted in the first round in 1989 by the Green Bay Packers. And here are some of the people that were drafted right well. The, he was the number two pick in the in the country. The number one pick was Troy Aikman. Picked after him was Barry Sanders, then Derek Thomas, and then Deion Sanders. That's the the people that he was drafted with. 
and uh, it gives you an idea of what kind of player he was. So I could go on and on about Tony and his background. What amazes me is Tony, after his career, his professional football career, he started his own professional photography um, company, Mandarich Studios. You can find it mandarichstudios.com. And he's written a book, which I I have to read. It's I can't wait read, wait to read it because it's something that all of us all of us have issues. It's a great title, My Dirty Little Secrets. And Tony has overcome adversity. I mean, he's you know he was a great athlete, made it to the National Football League, but he's gone through adversity in, in his life just like all of us. And I'd like to just you know, first introduce them and just just say welcome, Tony, to the to our show, and it's an honor to to have you on ISA Celebrity uh, today, and uh, thank you for joining us. Well, Michael and Stacy, thanks for having me. It's a privilege for me, and it's a pleasure to be here, even to be considered to be on your guys' show and and to talk about ISA Gen X and um and just you know pretty much share my experience and what it's you know for me what it's done in such a short period of time, only nine months, um. But it's, it's it's great to be here. Well, thank you, thank you, Tony. And I'm going to pass it back to Stacy because she's the uh, our director producer, and she has a few questions. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so what we want to know is tell tell us a little bit about your background as an athlete, and then I know you 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 had some recent injuries that um, that were really difficult for you, and 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 how that sort of changed the the way you were working out. Well, and I'll give you a linear timeline. So really when I was 13 years old, so I'm almost 47 now. When I was 13 years old, living and growing up in Canada, playing street hockey and ice hockey, as Michael had mentioned, um, my passion was really football. And at 13, I made a decision that I was going to become a professional football player in the NFL because we were only 45 minutes from Buffalo, three hours driving from to Detroit. And... I kind of just had such a great passion. I, my life was, if it wasn't consumed with school and schoolwork, it was football. It was play football on the playground or whatever. So I ended up, you know, getting a going through high school, playing football, getting a scholarship to Michigan State, and playing five years there. And you know, I when I went to Michigan State, it was a, f a phenomenal experience. Absolutely, it was just tremendous. We went to the Rose Bowl and 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 had a lot of great times, great coaching learned a lot of life lessons at Michigan State that I carry with me today from my coaches. Um, one of the things after Michigan State, as, as Michael had mentioned, I got drafted uh, in the 1989 draft by the Green Bay Packers, second overall pick, and played four years in Green Bay, had a lackluster career, all the expectations of that were, you know, that I had put upon myself and that really, you know, everybody had expected out of me didn't happen, and I'll explain why in a second. And then I was out of the league for three years and then came back into the league uh, with Indianapolis in 1996 and played three years there. Um, won my first year with Jim Harbaugh, was a quarterback, and then the last two years, uh, Peyton Manning, and then retired in 1999 with a, with a shoulder injury. But... When I was at Michigan State, I ended up taking steroids, and nobody made me take them. Nobody forced me to take them. Nobody even suggested I take them. I took them because I felt that that was the way to do it, and did that for five years, and I did have success with it, um, and, and I always say this in all my interviews. The reason there's such a big problem with steroids in all these sports, Major League Baseball, doesn't matter what sport, the NFL, NHL, is because steroids work. Steroids work. The pro that's the problem. They work. The thing that people overlook is the physical consequence, but more importantly, the psychological consequence. The psychological consequence with steroids, to me, way outweighs the physical consequence. Um, the, the, the things with depression and, and anxiety and uh, bipolar and all these things that, that, that are side effects of what I believe come directly from steroid use um, are way more, you know, uh, a side effect that can kill you. And then as I got to Green Bay, I ended up really, I, I stopped the steroids because the testing was a lot more stringent in the NFL and really switched kind of, if you will, I switched drugs or switched chemicals from steroids to alcohol and painkillers and did that for four years in Green Bay and then 
pretty much got kicked out of the league and was out of the league for three more years and drank and drugged and then finally got sober March 23rd in 1995 and Luckily, I've been sober ever since. So, and then I made, you know, 11 months later, I made a comeback with Indy and then played three years there. Um, so, you know, why did, and, 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 I, and I've looked back at my life a lot. I reflect a lot on my life and why did I make the decisions I made and, and, you know, what was my motive? What was my purpose? And it always came down to I always wanted to be the best at whatever I did. I always wanted the edge. And the problem with the steroid thing was that was an edge that was against the rules. So, you know, it was, was it cheating? Absolutely it was cheating because the rules said you cannot use steroids and I use them. So, yeah, I'm looking for the edge, but I crossed the line and, and it was detrimental to myself. Um, but even after going to Indy, even when I was in Indianapolis and sober, and steroids were now out of the picture for me. I wouldn't take them. I wouldn't take any drugs. I don't. I didn't drink. I was still always looking for the edge. Supplements. I want to use the best whey protein. I want to use the best this or that. And I think you know, it's. I think it's natural. And any athlete in any sport are always looking for the best products to take to make them a better athlete. Whether it's for endurance, stamina, strength, doesn't matter what it is. And you know, so you could almost say. When I started getting notoriety about my third year of college, which would have been 1986, till now, people have always been asking me, what do you do for post-workout drink? What do you do for pre-workout drink? What do you do for protein drink? What, what kind of amino acids do you take? And that, those questions have been happening daily for 25 years now. So, But that kind of gives you a linear timeline of of my sports career, you know, retired in 1999 with a shoulder injury and then uh, was in a few careers, financial advisor for two years for Morgan Stanley and it just wasn't me. Got involved in a golf course, family business after four years. I was like, it was a great experience, but I was like, wasn't for me for the rest of my life. And then, you know, for the last 10 years, professionally been um, doing photography although I've, I had been you know shooting for 20 years because I was a serious hobbyist before that so and you know I love what I do it's I don't, you know I don't consider it work it's a pa it's such a passion for me that you know I'll be doing it Saturday night people are like what are you doing I'm like well I'm in studio shooting and they're like oh I'm sorry and I'm like sorry I choose to be here you know they're like sorry you have to work I'm like this isn't work this is what I love to do so um, but that kind of gives you like the linear timeline on on the sports career and so then recently you had some injuries that, that you were um, that a couple of years ago, your your shoulder and your your Yes. Your knee, right? Yes. Um, uh, two summers ago, so twenty four months ago, uh, I was working out and I was still lifting pretty heavy at forty five years old then, and I tore my pec uh, pretty bad, but it it didn't require surgery. The doctor said if I was in my twenties and still playing that they would have done surgery, but he said since I was older he said it would just be more or less a cosmetic thing that it will heal and it will be fine. So um, I, that's the route I took. And then six months later, I did a 100% tear in my quad, or my left quad, right above my kneecap. And it wasn't lifting. It was just I was pushing my motorcycle back out of a parking spot. And it, that ended up just being the, the straw that broke the camel's back. So it was, it was ready to go. And at that point, I realized, you know what, it's... The, the the cause of this is years and years and years of hitting and practice and working out squats and all this and there I was 45 years old still lifting heavy and nothing to be strong for I mean I don't have anything to be ready for on Sundays as a photographer you don't have to move 300 pound defensive linemen around or right or models or whatever right <laughs> so you know I thought to myself I remember laying there and my knee was just got huge. It was swollen with with blood, and and I and I it was like I have to change my workouts. I have to change my workouts. And then after surgery and six months of being in a walker with you know no weight bearing on that leg, and then twelve weeks of physical therapy, and then I started doing more yoga stuff, more high reps, way more high reps, reps of fifties to a hundred per set, uh, lighter weight, obviously. Um, 
you know, I was like, I'm just going to reshape my body, redefine it, and just try to keep my ego in check and not worry about lifting heavy weights and, 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 and doing that and, and starting to think more about quality of life and longevity of life instead of, you know, you know, blowing somebody up off, off the line of scrimmage. Right. <laughs> so, so, so then how were you introduced to, to isogenics? So I, I went to, uh, you know, making these decisions, starting yoga, doing the high reps at, uh, at Lifetime Fitness. Um, I knew CrossFit for me was not going to work because, and CrossFit is a great workout. It wasn't going to work for me because of my age, because of my injuries, and I know it's hard on the joints. So I joined another gym that was similar to CrossFit, a little bit less impact, but they still did a lot of impact things. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got introduced to isogenics, and I wouldn't take it. Um, and, and I should just, before I say I wouldn't take it, I'll preface this. The owner of that facility I respected, and I still respect, he's a great athlete, um, very knowledgeable guy, and he said, this is, he said, I'd like you to try this protein, isogenics. He says, it's the best protein I've ever taken. And, you know, I've heard that. 500 times, you know, this is the best protein, this, you know, our company has the best of this, the best of that, and you start to go deaf to it, you just kind of like, or like, it goes in ear, one out the other, so I said, but because it was this gentleman, and I trusted him, I said, let me, you know, let me do some research on it, and if I do get it, I'll get it out of your facility, and I, read, I did the first 10 minutes of research that night on the internet, and everything I was reading was phenomenal, um, you know, usually you see a lot more bad stories or bad write-ups about something. I mean, you're always going to have something bad because people are just going to do that. You can't please everybody. But everything I was reading was good. And then I went to the facts of everything, the ingredients, how it was made, why it was made a certain way. And I was like, this stuff is phenomenal. And I'm thinking I'm definitely going to do it. And then I read that it was a network marketing company. And as soon as I read that, I exited out of my browser on my computer and got up off out of my desk and I was like I'm not taking it because my theory was if it's if it's that good a product it'll be in all the retail vitamin stores it'll be in Target it'll be Walmart or wherever you know they sell mass proteins and stuff like that um, so when I came back to that facility the next couple of days to work out he's like did you do research I said yeah I said and I'm not gonna take it because the network marketing company and he's like, well, you don't have to do the business. He goes of network marketing. He goes, he goes. The product is phenomenal. And I and I and I told him just what I shared with you guys. Now I said, if the product's that good, I said you don't have to sell it with a network marketing business model. And he and he was great. He was like, no, listen, I'm not going to beg you to take it. He goes, I'm just telling you my experience. And and he was he was very much a gentleman about it. Well, over the next five months, I was in that facility, and and they had classes. And I always call it an hour of hell because it was a hard workout. And sixty, I would say 50 or 60 percent of his members were on isogenics. And out of those 50 or 60 percent, I'd say none of them were in the business. But they just took the product. So as time went on over those five months, I would ask those people just before class, as we were waiting for class to start, you know, are you on isogenics or whatever. And I really wasn't kind of like, digging for information I was just creating conversation and the worst answer I got from about 25 or 30 people was it's really good that's the worst answer I got and you know and then the, some of the answers were incredible they're like oh my god it's changed my life and this and that but the thing that caught my attention was none of them were in the business so none of them had that motivation to sell me the product mm -hmm. which gave me like gave their testimonial more validity um, well, after that, I ended up um, quitting that gym right around Christmas because my joints were just getting too sore, and because the the impact was catching up to me. And January rolled around, and ended up talking to corporate office. Corporate office got a hold of me here in Isogenics because we're only twenty minutes away, and they wanted to bring me in and just show me the facility and. Um, I ended up getting a 30-day, and they're like, "You got nothing to lose. It's 30 days, money-back guarantee." And I'm like, "You know what? I'll try it. What, really, what do I have to lose? I'll try it." 
I mean, I've I've heard it, everybody from everything that is good, but I've also heard over the last 25 years everybody telling me they have the best product. And um, so January 10th, I enrolled into Isagenics into the wholesale program um, as an associate and started my 30-day, you know, at that point, fat loss and uh, fat burning and weight loss pack. And so that's really how I got introduced to it, but still very much a non-believer. So, so once you started taking the product, like how would you say that it it impacted you physically at first, and then and then you can go into talking about how it's impacted you financially as well. Sure. So, you know, you get the guideline, little guideline brochure on how to take it, best practices on how to take it for shake day and cleanse day. Right. And, you know, first of all, I was like, well, I'm not cleansing, you know, and I had all these negative stuff in my head, and right. I was like, and I really only took the product. All I took for the first 15 days was Ionic Supreme in the morning and one shake in the morning. I think there's a big, sorry to interrupt you, but there is a very big misconception about cleansing. I think people yes. think that they're going to be in the bathroom all day, right. and right. it's really not, this is not a completely no different kind of cleanse. And that was my, and that was my assumption, and that's why I was like, I'm just not going to use it, right, until right. I got educated. I was naive and ignorant, right? So once, and, and all I did for the first 15 days was the Ionic Supreme in the morning and then the shake in the morning and that was it that's all I did because I still was very skeptical and I was like well you know I'll try it. and if I don't like it after three or four weeks I'll just return it and get my money back well day 15 I had a great day and my definition of a great day was you know when you get up in the morning um, you know and I'm you know 46 47 years old I get up in the morning and even with all the injuries and the working out hard I felt good and I would like go to and get to the office and you know what I call running and gun and just you know go 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 have a great workout and then go home and so that's a good day for me so then I day 16 I had another good day like that now I've had days like that then to have back to back days are a little bit more rare but they happened they would happen maybe once a month and then day 17 I had another great day so now it was three great days in a row. Now three great days in a row I hadn't had in like five or six months, like back to back to back. And just for a second I thought, could it be the isogenics? And I thought, no, absolutely not. But that's the only thing I changed, right? So I was like, if this happens again tomorrow, then I really have to give it some, you know, take a serious look at this isogenics thing. So day four and I wake up and I'm feeling great have a great day and I'm like and I tell my wife I say it has to be this I said this is the only thing I've changed in the last three weeks and all I've done is probably 20 percent of the, the program I've done one ionic supreme drink in the morning and the shake and that's it and I've continued to eat the way I usually eat and work out the way I usually work out so I thought if I applied 70 or 80 percent of this to myself what the, would the results be so over the next five weeks, which takes me to the end of two months, I apply 80% of it. And at the end of two months, I had lost like 27 pounds. And, and that was the least impressive thing that happened. How I felt, I hadn't felt like in 10 years. And, and I was like, this can't be that good. I knew it was isogenics. I knew it was the product. But I kept saying to myself, it can't be this good. Because... <laughs> How come it's not like plastered everywhere and why are people not like no like why don't people know about this because you know you don't want to you don't want to make it sound like a magic bullet but it it was phenomenal and my wife being a biochemist she started looking at the ingredients and she broke everything down for me she knew she knew about 3 quarters of the ingredients and she basically looked at everything and she goes you know to tell you the truth all this is is food and I said well, what do you mean I mean there's got to be some synthetically made things she's like no she goes this is food this is plant-based food that's organic 
with you know no pesticides, no herbicides, no antibiotics, no steroids, no nothing put in it. You know whether it's from the whey protein or from whatever it's made. I mean, she really broke down the ionic supreme to me, and she said, opened up the canister and said, "You see this?" She goes, "That's just food." And I said, "Okay." And it was kind of hard for me to comprehend because I was always like, uh, "I'm supplementing. I'm supplementing." And she's like, "What you're doing is you're just eating food." And it was like, "Okay. Well, I don't care what I'm doing, but it's working, and I'm going to continue to do it." And, um, but I was still like, I, I was kind of mad in a way because I didn't want to do network marketing. And I was like, but this is so good. How do I tell my friends about it? And with, I had no motivation of signing people up. I just wanted to tell my friends, man, you guys got to try this because it's, it's like crazy good. And so, so I started sharing with people and you know some people end up you know getting some interest but I'm not enrolling anybody or nothing so one day I just put with no motivation to get in the business one day I post I, I held up my um, box of Isoline Pro and I had my shake in the other hand and I, I remember and if you can still go back to my probably February or March Facebook wall post it's still up there I think I said I'm going to Lifetime Fitness to kill shoulders and traps and I'm having my protein shake. It was a Sunday morning. And when I got home three hours later, I had like 25 inbox emails in my Facebook saying, what is it? You know, what's it about? I've heard of the company, but I don't know much about it. I've never heard of the company. Where is it? Where do I buy it online? How do I get it? You know, all this and all that. So at this point, I don't even know the URL. It's Isogenics, <laughs> right? I'm like... So I'm thinking, of my, and I'm pretty computer savvy, right? I'm in the business, right? So I'm thinking to myself, okay, it's probably isogenics.com because it's a big company. But before I even answered anybody, I contacted what at what is now my upline um, and really my mentor coach, Jill. And I contacted Jill on Sunday. I said, look, this is what's happened. Um, and I've got all these emails. I said, before I answer anybody, I said, I don't know what to do. So she just said, let's keep it simple. She said, email everybody back and say, if you're seriously interested, um, a lady named Jill will call you today, and all I need is your, your, your phone number. So 18, 18 people, I remember, 18 people emailed me back within an hour, gave me their phone numbers, and I forwarded those on to Jill, and Jill called those people. And I remember Jill texting me um, saying, you know, things are good. And I didn't know what that meant, right? I just, she said, things are good. And 11 p.m. on Sunday evening, she texts me and she goes, can you do a call real quick? Because she didn't know if I was in bed or, you know, I stay up till midnight doing whatever, working on the computer. And I said, yeah, yeah, give me a call. And so she calls me and she goes, well, she goes, it was a good day. She goes, we enrolled 13 people. And they've all ordered product, and I've explained everything to them because I didn't, you know, I was very naive to a, a lot of the things. My only experience was taking it. I knew nothing about the business side of it, and I knew minimal about the products. I, you know, I knew it was food. That I knew and the, because of my wife. So that's what I call falling into the business. And so she's like, you know, you just made four hundred and fifty dollars, and I'm like, well, that's that's cool. I'm like, you know, it's not forty five hundred, but it's four hundred and fifty, and it's like I didn't really do anything. All I did was do a post, and and I wasn't naive enough to think that every time I do a Facebook post, I'm going to make four hundred fifty dollars. I mean, I knew it was kind of an anomaly. It's going to happen because I'd never done it before, and what started happening was people started seeing a change in me at the gym and at work and out and about and at the gym the same thing that was happening for the last 25 years continued to happen what do you do for post-workout drink what do you do for pre you know pre-workout drink what do you do for this what do you do for lean muscle mass whey protein and I'm getting ready to say uh, you know my usual answer and I'm like well I don't take that other product anymore I take isogenics so I'd be like well I take isogenics and they're like well what's that where do I get it? Can I get it at, you know, ABC vitamin store? And I go, no. I said, you know, uh, and I didn't want nothing to do with the enrolling anybody. So I said, 
I'd write the number down. I'd say, call this lady Jill. I said, she'll explain it all to you. So Jill would enroll people for me and that I would give her. And she would enroll them in my, you know, in my left leg or right leg. And because I didn't know the strategy or, and I didn't want to know. And I said, that's as deep as I want to get in the business. And then, you know, you get your little Isagenics card and you get paid every Monday, your commissions. And we had got that 450 and then one week we got $53 and then one week we got 108 and, you know, so on and so on. And I'm like, look, it's gravy money, it's gas money, whatever. And we're helping people get on good product. So then we started getting like 400 450 a week. And then I was like, you know, I, I didn't go to Berkeley. I didn't go to Stanford. <laughs> but I do know how to do math. Okay, so I'm like, okay, well, 450 or 500 a week is about two grand a month. I said that does make a significant difference in life, and not in lifestyle, but in ease of paying bills and just makes it easier. So my wife and I were kind of like, and and I was that's all I was doing for business. I was just somebody asked me, call Jill. Somebody asked me, I was not coming. There was no parties. There was no podcasts. There was no listening to coaching calls. There was that was way, I mean, I was way above that, okay, right? <laughs> I was better than, okay? You didn't to be bothered with that. Right, yeah. right. My ego was getting in the way of thousands of dollars. <laughs> so, thank God, you know, for my upline. So, um, so then it went to seven, eight hundred, nine hundred a week. And I'm going, are you kidding me that this is happening? And then I was like, you know what, let's put some effort into this. And my motivation, I mean, I've personally enrolled about 50 people to, till this day. But you have to remember, I started January 10th. I didn't start the business for 12 weeks later. But I've been on the product since January 10th. So I've been in the business five months. So I've enrolled close to 50 people. And out of those 50 people, well, that average is out to 10, 10 a month, right? I've only gone after one person. I've made a conscious decision of going after this this one young lady who's a single mom. She's a firefighter. She works very hard. And I'm thinking to myself, I know she can do this, and it's going to help her. And her as a single mom, it's going to help her get some of that financial relief and she's big time into working out and stuff like that so she's gonna get that benefit too that's the only person I went after the other 48 or 49 have all organically grown through the gym through photography through conversation through what are you doing like what are you like what are you doing differently because you look different the, the one of the funniest things that ever happened was people said I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you seem to be much more approachable. And <laughs> I thought to myself, well, did I walk around with a scowl on my face all the time? <laughs> and I, apparently I must have. So, so you know, it's the power, I call it the power of Ionic Supreme. And, and Love it, I know. You know. It's fantastic. It's, and again, it's food. Yeah. It's not anything synthetically made, right? So... Things are going great, and you know now now that you become crystal executive and all that stuff, and I'm like, you know, um, Michael will understand this more than you will, Stacy. But you know, blue collar in the trenches, we're fighting every day physically in the practice. You know, I'm like crystal this, emerald this. You can take that and stick it. You know where? I don't care about titles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just like. You know, well, you got to do this to get the crystal executive, and I'm like, I don't care about what you call it. Just, you know, I just want to help people, right? So, and as you can notice, obviously, I didn't go to Stanford or Berkeley, right? <laughs> I went to Michigan State. We're at we're in agriculture school. So, um, as time goes on now, and then in the last 90 days now, um, you know, my pure, pure, honest to God motivation is to help people and whether that is to help them lose weight whether it's to help them feel better whether it's to help them um, you know find financial freedom or some financial relief um, or you know if they're interested in the business part to help their business grow successfully 
my 100% motive is that, and I've always shared with my wife this. I said, if you take care of the people, the money will take care of itself. I said, the money's a detail. And I, and I don't want to minimize and say, hey, look, the money's not important. Yeah, listen, I'm not going to do this for free, but my motivation comes from helping the people. Help the people every day. Help the people. Help them reach their goals. And I try to, I really try to give added value with a lot of the people that are working out that aren't pros or that have never been pros but need some advice on how to work out or what to do. And I will share my experiences and I'll say, why don't you try doing this kind of a workout, you know, this way. And, you know, that has nothing to do with isogenics. But, you know what? It's, for me, it's a relationship builder, and it, and it helps somebody achieve their goals. And along the way, they're taking the best product in the world that can do it. And, you know, I would mentioned earlier, I've always been looking for the edge. And even up till before I met anybody from Isogenics or took Isogenics, which is only nine months now, I was taking certain, I was spending six, seven hundred dollars a month in amino acids and just all these different products, post-workout, pre-workout, and I had found my cocktails of what worked for me the best. And there's one reason I don't take those now, and that's because this works better. This works better, and the caveat that's gravy is they pay me to refer people. <laughs> where I never got a dime from any of these other places that where I was sending people to buy these other products. And I thought to myself, so it's a, it's a double win. It's a win for everybody. It's a win for me. It's a win for isogenics. It's a win for the person taking it. They're going to be healthier, you know, and, and, if, and helping people reach their goals. You know, for me, that's a personal, it's a very personal thing because I'm passionate about helping people. Be, and I'll tell you why, because what, when I was down, and when I was down hard, and, and and I was down hard on my luck, and I was getting kicked while I was down, there was a group of people that reached down and helped me. And, and that's something you'll never, you know, that's something I'll never forget. And so now when I see people that are down, I'm like, you know what? You don't know what's going on in their life. And, and, you know, don't sit there and kick them verbally or, or you know, it's not like they're, you're physically kicking them, but you're looking at them going, oh, you're lazy or you're this or you're that. It's like reach out to them and help them. And it doesn't have to be with the motivation of, for me, it doesn't have to be with the motivation of saying, hey, you know, you need to get on this ice gen. It's going to make you feel better. But that's just how I approach life with everybody. And organically... It, the isogenics is a perfect fit because it's all about organic. It's about health and well-being. It's about giving us ourselves the best quality of life. You know, for me, it's about mind, body, spirit. I think, and you need to have all three in sync for it to all work well. And what you put in your body is crucial. And you know, and I can feel it because. I mean, out of the blue, I stopped drinking four or five cans of Diet Coke a day. Like two months into it, four or five cans of Diet Coke went to zero. Four or five cups of coffee went to zero. Had no intention of quitting. And my, my, I, I'm like asking my wife, what do you think's going on here? And she's like, well, her being a, a biochemist, she's like, well, after she looked at the stuff, she said, this is what's happened. She said, your body was in an acidic state. And now it's gone to an alkaline state. And now your body doesn't crave all that bad stuff. And I say, well, why was my body in an acidic state? And she said, because you're eating food out of grocery stores that has pesticides, herbicides, steroids, antibiotics, and is tainted. GMOs. Exactly. And, and I'm, I'm of this generation. I'm educated. But I didn't know that. I mean, I, you know, my assumption is I walk into, you know, a grocery store and I know that this place has been approved by the FDA, by the government and all this and all that. So it's safe, right? I, I get it, right? But you don't realize if you start looking at the regulations that their standards aren't that high. You know, their standards are high compared to a third world country. But, you know, What's considered an organic product here, grown in an, in, in an organic farm field, 
is that that farm field hasn't used pesticides in the last five years. Well, that's not that long. And DDT, which was one of the you know most horrific pesticides ever created or, or you know poisons ever created, got banned in the 70s. But it's so powerful, the kids today that are born have DDT in their cells. Every one of us. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, well, we're, now we're getting our food, we're getting pure food that's organic, that's pesticide free, and we don't have to fly to New Zealand to get it. They're doing it for us. They're, they're bringing it back here for us. And it gives us that choice. And I always put a certain amount of value in organic, but boy, you don't realize the value that it gives you until you get it in your body. And, and this product actually exceeds the USDA standards. So yes. it, it's, um, there's nothing else that exists that is, is of this quality. And, and um, so back to when you were really not putting much effort into the business part of it, you were making, what, 900 some dollars a week, 800, 900 some dollars? I would, I would say when we were really not doing anything, like when I, all I was doing was referring people, I was, mm -hmm. we probably got to four or 500 a week, which was, you okay. know, was like between 1,600 and, and 2,000 a month. Okay, and so then did you, was there a turning point for you where you actually thought, you know, if I actually put effort into it, what could I do? Well, the, yeah, there was, there was a turning point. That was part of it right there, but the biggest part of it was being a product of the product. Mm -hmm. And when I saw what it did to me, and when I had crazy things like people saying, you are more approachable, then I realized, because I can see when I lose weight. That's a tangible. I can see if somebody has more energy. That's something visual you can see. How do you write down or draw a picture of well-being? Right. How do you describe, you know what? My vitality and, and how I feel is better. Like, I can't draw a picture of that. But people have told me you're more approachable, which that is my answer now to saying, that's what I mean by well-being. Apparently, I thought I was fine, but I wasn't. And I'm, and, and I'm telling you guys, you will have never, ever, ever have met a bigger skeptic than me. You can ask Travis Garza. You can ask Eric Coover. They will tell you, you. You ask them next time you see them. Say, who's the biggest skeptic you've ever met in your life with isogenics? And they'll mention my name. Because I, I was laughing at them saying, yeah, you guys and 500 other companies say they have the best stuff. And, and they were gentlemen about it. They were like, no, we really believe we do. And, and you know, we just, we just need to get it in your system. And, you know, right now I know they're giggling at me and they're laughing at me <laughs> because <laughs> here I am now on podcasts, on coaching calls, going to ICU, going to celebration, doing all these things because I'm like, man, you know, we need to help people. We need to educate them. We need to help them. And, um, and you know, for those people that want that health and nutrition and losing weight and whatever the case may be, and then those people that want that in addition to the wealth creation, we help them also. So it's, uh, you know, it's, I know they're laughing at me right now. And, and, they're just, and I have to laugh at myself because I was the biggest skeptic that you will ever meet. And I, and I, you know, I deal with skeptics here and there. And people that come up to me and they say, you know, what do you take? And I tell them. And then, you know, they're like, where do I get it? And I say, well, it's, you know, it's a network marketing company. You got to order. And they're like, oh, no. They're like, it's network marketing. It can't be good because it's not in the retail stores, right? So I'm hearing the broken record of myself. I, I can see myself in them. And I sit there and I kind of giggle inside because I'm like, hey, I understand exactly how you feel because I felt like that nine months ago and I and I just tell them I say it's a 30-day money-back guarantee I said but I guarantee you once you get it in your system it's a no-brainer you know that's a, it's an amazing story um, I mean this is I'm so excited and thank you Tony for for sharing your story um, I, I want to ask you when did you first hear our Isogenics mission statement, and I'm going to read this for our audience, um, which because when I heard this, when I first learned about this years ago, I just said this is a great company. And, and for everyone that hasn't 
heard the mission statement, it goes like this. Our vision is to impact world health and free people from physical and financial pain and in the process create the largest health and wellness company in the world. I mean, when, when did you first hear that, Tony? You know, I heard it early on, and again, it was, um, you know, it's a corporation with a mission statement, and it's a nice mission statement, and good luck with that, right? Because you have to have one heck of a product to accomplish that, and not only do you have to have one heck of a product, you have to have great leadership, you have to have great organization, and you have to have a great business plan. And this company has all those things. They have great leadership. They have first-class leadership at the very top with the Coovers. Um, everything I've seen about the company, everybody I've met at corporate, and I've met a lot of them, everybody's first class. And I'm talking people that are the higher-up executives to people that are, you know, working the phones with the with the um, with all the helplines and everything. Everybody I have met has been first class and. You know, it's kind of like, you know what, that's who I want to surround myself with. I want to surround myself with people that want to better the world. And um, it's it's blown my mind. You know, one of the things that, like a real, 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 real short version that I always share with people is, you know, to sum it up as far as, you know, people in the business that want to learn about the business part, I always say, you know what, you hear this from the top and they make decisions based on this. If it's not good for the associate, it's not good for the company. And you know what? They don't just talk it, they walk it. Then that's the truth because they take care of the associates, which are us. You know, you enroll as a wholesale program, you're an associate. So it is absolutely incredible to me. And, and you know, people say Isogenics has one of the top two or three compensation plans in the world for network marketing. Well, I can't tell people, I, I, I share that with people, but I can't say I know that for sure because I've never been involved in another network marketing company like this, right? I've been involved in a few other network marketing companies for a maximum of three to four weeks because I could then start seeing through the snake oil, the, the, the you know, smoke and mirrors and the snake oil and all, and I was like, I don't want to be associated with that. This one keeps getting better and better every month for me. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, and it's not just the money, it's just, it's kind of like, I feel better. The people around me feel better. It's like, you know, I've helped somebody and I haven't seen them in three months and they've lost like 90 pounds and you're going, is this the same human being? And they're like, you know, now I'm like, you know, jumping out of planes and I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs, right? You know, they're like, I've always wanted to go parachuting and, and you know, I'm doing it and I still have, you know, 70 pounds to lose, but now at least I could do it. And I'm like, that's what drives me. That's what makes my blood rush. And it's like, yeah, don't get me wrong, the money's great. It makes life easier, but money doesn't make you happy. It does make life easier, but it doesn't make you happy. I've been a millionaire, and I've been broke. I've been a millionaire again, and I've been broke. And now I'm somewhere in between. And I know money doesn't make you happy. I've owned seven or eight Mercedes-Benz, top of the line. It doesn't make you happy. It doesn't make you happy. It doesn't make me happy because there I was sitting in a two hundred thousand dollar Mercedes Benz, going, "This isn't me. I'm not happy." And that's why I drive around now in a four door Jeep that's jacked up because I love it and it makes me happy, right? <laughs> I know if I want to go off road in Arizona, I can do it, you know. And you know, so it's not the physical stuff. And I think that people learn that with age. Some never learn it. I think you you learn, you learn it with age, and. I learned it, I was lucky because I got granted, you know, a lot of money early when I was 21 and I thought that's what made you happy and I thought that's what, like, you know, we've hit the golden ticket, we've hit the lottery and all this and all that, but, and, 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 and it does make life easier with certain things like paying bills and stuff, but it doesn't make you happy and I've been my happiest in my life, I've been my happiest when I wasn't, when I didn't have the most money. It's when our life was simple. And now we're on our way back up to that level, but it's a whole different experience. It's a whole different experience. So um, now I want to be rich and happy, you know? <laughs> but you know what I love? 
I love that we're all on different teams, mm -hmm. but we're all part of the same team. So when you guys are up on stage, we're all going to be cheering you. Like, you yeah. know, we're going to we really support each other, whether we're on the same team or different teams. It's We're all part of the same Isogenics family. Yeah. We yeah. all feel great. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the, I think the like like Michael had described the mission statement. I think, I think leadership is so crucial, and and who your leaders are, not just in our immediate teams, but the leaders of Isogenics. Mm -hmm. That is crucial. That is no different than the owner of you know the Raiders or the owner of you know. Uh, General Electric or, or the shareholders or like the CEO, it all starts at the top and we have first class leadership and they have hired first class managers if you will to manage the company and they put people in place and it's you know it's a, it's a phenomenal experience I mean you know I look at it probably in a lot of the same ways that Michael will look at it as a head coach and then they got the coordinators and they have assistant coaches and then they have these other people and then you have the players right so you know that's how I look at things it's it's easier for me and and you know here the owners are the Coovers right and and you know the the, the coach the people that they've put in to coach is like Eric Coover and Travis Garza and you know and these other people the CEOs and um, and now they've delegated people in certain positions and then it, it, you know we're the team we are the players and one of the most awesome things is, you know, I love the fact that they publicly state we do not pay anybody to promote this product. And they say that, and then you get a guy like Ray Lewis, who's an untouchable, played an awesome career, and he comes to Isogenics. And I say, Ray, why do you take Isogenics? He goes, because it's the best product that's on the market. And I'm like, that's exactly why I take it. And he goes, because I want the best stuff in my system. And I'm like, that's why I take it. And, you know, that is just, I already knew that. But when he says it to me, it just reconfirms it. And, you know, it's, I'm kind of like, hey, look, if it's good. And I, and I don't want to compare myself to Ray Lewis. I don't hold a candle to Ray Lewis. But it's like saying, if it's good enough for us, why wouldn't it be good enough for this, you know, the guy working out at the gym, you know? So um, I'm so grateful that I literally stumbled across this this company, and it give you know gives me an opportunity now to share it with people and say, you know what, we're being mis, you know, we're being misled by what we're eating. What I thought I was eating was you know good quality stuff, and it's like. Yeah, it's good quality compared to low quality, but if you really want premium, this is what you got to you know do. And and there's an obvious difference in the fuel that you put in your body and how you feel and that well-being and and you know the more approachability factor I call it. <laughs> well, well, you know, you mentioned uh, uh, you mentioned Tony the Coovers, and what I'm excited about is. You know they're amazing. The, the you know Kathy and Jim are just amazing, but their son who yeah. you know went to Arizona State, yep. scratch golfer on the golf team. I mean to make the Arizona State golf team, you got to yep. be an amazing. You know it's like you know it's you got to be a great yep. golfer. And he could have gone on to the PGA Tour, decided that Isogenics that this mission, yep. this mission to help free people from financial you know pain and physical pain was more it was bigger than the PGA tour right. and to see him at age 26 right. say to all of us we are going to be the Apple computer of the health and wellness industry right. I mean what, what do you think of that well it was pretty impactful I mean you know the Apple he compared it to the Apple computer and, and the Nike swoosh right and it was like we're gonna be branded that brand that isogenics a you know and that brand is going to be known like that Apple Apple brand and like that Nike swoosh and you know what I I wasn't surprised when he said that I expect that I expect that because this is not snake oil this stuff is not average this stuff is premium and people just don't know about it yet and and it's just you know it's kinda like you know where was this when I was playing well you know when I retired 
the company didn't exist, right? Because it would have it would have increased mine and yours longevity in the league, you know, because we would have took the better care of ourselves. But thank God we found it when we did, and um, you know, for me, it's been a game changer. And as for you know, quality of life, you know, the most one of the most important things to me is there's that old cliche of of you always hear it. You know, I, I want to make sure I'm alive for my daughter's wedding or my son's wedding. And, and I have four kids, three daughters and a son, three of them in college now. And it's like, you know what, I want to be there for that. But I also want to be there for them 30 years from now when they're going through adversity because they're guaranteed to have adversity. That's inevitable for everybody. I want to be there for them when they go through adversity so I can say, hey, you know what, this is a speed bump. This is the, let's find the solution, let's make a plan, let's execute it, and let's move on. And, you know, be there for them, be that rock for them. And, you know, so now, you know, and I'll play kind of weird games with myself and my head and stuff, and it's like, listen, don't get me wrong, I want to go through in an out burger every once in a while, right? And, and every once in a while I do, okay? But I want to go more often than I do. And I think to myself, now, you know, what's more important? Being there for your kid 20 years from now or clogging up your arteries? You know, and it's kind of like, so when I play that game in my head, I'm like, it just, it's in and out of my head as quick as that thought goes. Because it's like, well, my kids hold, or it's a no-brainer. My kids are more important than, than that than that double-double with cheese fries and all that other good stuff. <laughs> I don't know if, it, if, if this is the same for you, but that stuff doesn't taste the same to me anymore. Like, no. I don't. It. I don't want it. I, and when I, I didn't have it, it just doesn't taste good. When so. I first, and, and and you mentioning that when I first started Isogenics, obviously you know I started at the twenty percent you know, and then when I got more intense with it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a cheat day, and then the cheat day went to a cheat half day eventually, and then it went to a cheat four hours, and that would be like Saturday from like you know four p.m. to eight p.m., and then it went to a cheat hour. And now it's just I just eliminated it. I'm like there is no more cheat. It's like it's like I don't eat perfectly, but I don't set aside something where I'm gonna say, oh, I'm gonna binge on that hour. I'm gonna set four hours aside. Now is my time of the week to binge. I don't feel like I'm depriving myself. Like the nutrition that was working so good now, and the body is functioning so good. I don't feel deprived. So I don't feel like oh, I'm missing out on this. My body feels great. I'm like, yeah, I used to love that, and I don't, you know, but you're right. When I have tasted it, I'm like, you know what? It's not as good as I thought it was, or it's not as good as I remember it that I used to remember. Well, when you're sticking your body every day, you know, all that grease and the, you know, triple Wendy's with fries and all that, and of course, I'd always get the upsize, and, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, you know, when you do that and you're like, wow, you know, I don't feel sick, but boy, I don't feel good. And then I'm like, and, and right then I'm like, I'm cleansing in two hours. I'm starting my cleanse because I want to get the stuff out of my system, you know. You and and so then like, when Stacy had mentioned earlier, my first impression when they said cleanse is, okay, I need to be by a bathroom all day. But it's it's a, it's cleansing through your pores and getting that toxins out of your fat that, that bind onto your fat so you can release fat and and it really does, and, and I think it's funny that, and I was a victim of this too, of, well, you know what, the only toxicity I really get is, because I don't drink and drug anymore, so the only toxicity I get is probably from emissions, from cars, or maybe from, you know, factories, but you don't realize hairsprays, people, you clean, the stuff you clean your floor with at the house, just all these household items that are in the air that are so, you know, small but you're breathing them that you do need to cleanse and how do I know that because you know what when I cleanse I feel better mm -hmm. I know I feel better and it's like and it's not just about losing weight I feel better what after I get done with the cleanse and after I get start putting that clean fuel back in me again I feel better so that proves to me that I am toxic and that I do need to get those toxins out of me yeah. right and we all need this product it's really it's really important that we all cleanse. Um, 
on that note, one of the things I love about this job, or if it's really, it's really not a job for me, it's a lifestyle. I, um, I'm a busy mom. I have three little kids, and I need to get them off the bus in a few minutes. So, and on that note, I want to do a share the shot. Whoop, here we go. Share the shot to Tony. Cheers. This is amazing. Everybody needs this for their workout, and everybody needs it when they need that pickup during the day. This is the best. Share the shot. Cheers to Tony, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, Tony. Yep, we'll see you guys.